Hi guys, welcome to C to C Mentors. Today I'm going to talk about the most important topic uh, to actually, if you really want to secure at least one more call uh, from uh, the top 20 IMs. Now, the topic today is understanding the level of difficulty. See, most of the times, if you understand that, we know the attempts, right? We know, uh, you know, the topics, we know the concepts, we know the fundamentals. Uh, but most of the times, I've been I've been doing a lot of workshops these days. Whenever I speak to students and even in the past, you know, people, those who missed getting a call from IMs, the major reason that I found is that, you know, people try and to kind of, you know, not able to gauge or not able to understand the level of difficulty of the paper uh, because there is this kind of an, um, you know, it's a function basically wherein if you understand the level of difficulty, you will be able to understand the attempt, you will be able to understand how much accuracy that needs to be maintained by you. So guys, it's very important for you, for all of you, those who are gearing up for CAT right from now, where you say that, you know, there are 76 days are left, we have to understand the level of difficulty. Fair enough, I mean like, you know, if you are like, let's say uh, you are like, you know, three months uh, before CAD or let's say you are like five months before CAD, then I think it is, it doesn't matter because why does it matter? Because that point in time, I just want you guys to prepare, prepare and prepare and you know what Max should do is practice the stuff, right? But now that time has gone. Now, I am very sure that you must have practiced a lot. You understand the stuff. You understand a lot of topics. And now, it's very important that we all should be in a position to understand the level of difficulty. Because if we fail to understand this, then probably it's going to be a bit tougher to score that 99% or 95, 97. Now, let's move ahead. So, what I'm going to do is, in this um, video, I'm going to actually show you the actual CAT papers and I'm going to tell you how you can actually gauge or you know how it actually can understand the level of difficulty. So right front of me, what I have is I have this today. I'm only going to talk about quants. I will be making videos of, let's say for uh, verbal ability, which I've just done um, in my uh, workshops in Mumbai and Pune. So I'm going to talk about VARC in a different um, video altogether. So we're going to do that later on. I'm also going to come up with same thing on LRDF front. So we're going to talk about that also. Today, what I intend to do is today, I just want to finish up with the quants. Now, have a look at this right in front of you. You have 2017 paper and uh, just to make it more easier for you and familiar to you, uh, I have actually taken arithmetic, right? So all these are arithmetic questions. So in 2017, arithmetic was around about 12 questions. And in 2018, it was around about, we had around about 14 questions. Now, when you go for LOD, right? The thing that you need to understand, now look at this question, look at question number one. Arun's present age in years is 40% of Barun's age. Now, understand this, the moment you as an aspirant, right? The moment you look at this set of questions, right? The first thing that we need to understand here is that understand the length of this question. The length of this question is pretty small or something that you will not be afraid of. You look at these questions even before reading this question. We haven't even started reading this question. But yes, just looking at the length of this question, we can be a bit confident that yes, you know, I can do this. Ye kind of questions me kar lunga. And trust me, when you jump onto the question, all these questions are in real sense pretty much doable so guys the first thing that works out here is a psychological impact the moment you understand the length of the question is little bit low like you, know, you have only one one and a half or two lines bang on you know the questions are not going to be really really tough now this is what is exactly happening in 2017 now there is number one now when you understand that length is little bit uh, you know low right you know there are only one or two lines there you can actually go for the question you can try to solve the question now the moment i look at if i just have to show you guys uh, the level of 2018 questions that, that we had so the level of 2018 question look at this is what i have as far as level of um, length so this is my 2018 14 questions that i've taken right so if you look at the length out here it is not that kind of give you a happy feeling right now if you look at the questions out here if you look at this question or if you predominantly look at this question right all these questions are not uh, that you know short one out here so these are like pretty lengthy questions and which is not going to give you guys uh, you know really a uh, good feeling altogether so that's the reason you know this is what you need to understand so if you look at the length out here um, again like this is what like look at the question number seven question number seven here that we have uh, is all about uh, profit and loss, right? But you have to read a lot here. And again, when you look at these questions, look at the question out here. This question out here is actually a lengthy question. This is coming from interest topic. It is nothing but the compound interest, right? The question is actually easy, but it's kind of a lengthy question. 
मोर ओवर इट्स ए टिटा क्वेश्चन सो गाइज दिस इज दी अनदर थिंग दैट यू नीड टू कीप इन योर माइंड द मोमेंट यू गेट लेन दी क्वेश्चन विथ टिटा Trust me, that's where the entire problem starts happening. There is nothing wrong having data question. There is nothing wrong having lengthy questions as such. But understand, what happens is the moment you have data question, your paper is not getting difficult. So if you look at what happened in the year two thousand eighteen when I and Calcutta shared the paper, uh, if we literally get into the depth of the paper in twenty seventeen, what happened? The paper was on an easy front. As far as the quant is concerned, it was damn easy. In twenty eighteen, it wasn't really tough. But trust me, it was twisted a bit, and that's what we all need to understand when you are going for CAT. That it got twisted a bit because of which there was a problem. Now, what kind of twist came into picture? So, if you do a vis-a-vis -vis comparison, right? There were two major things that happened in twenty seventeen and twenty eighteen, which changed the entire level of difficulty for quants as a section. Number one, we talk about theta question. At number two, we talk about the length of the question. Now, as far as theta questions were concerned in twenty eighteen, they were more, and as far as the length of the question is concerned in twenty eighteen, the length was little bit more. So, if you look at I am Calcutta, they did not give you new pattern, they did not give you new set of questions, uh, nor they have actually kind of you know invented any new type of questions. The only thing that they did very smartly is that they said that you know what the level of difficulty, the level of difficulty, or let's say uh, the weight of the question, we're gonna keep it same. Probably, let's say on a same level of 2017, will increase it a bit. But now, what they did is in 2018 they twisted. So to twist it, what did they do? They basically increase the length of your question, yeah, and they added more tita question. Now it's a common sense, right? The more the moment you see that there are tita questions, now what happens in tita question? You have to literally work it out because you do not have options anymore. so you will have to go ahead with the unitary method you will have to get into the calculations because of which the time that is been consumed to solve that one particular question goes up and remember like we all have one hour to solve all these 34 questions now the moment time taken the moment time taken um for one particular question go up it's by default that your attempts are going to go down because you have only 1 hour now for the fact the questions are tita for the fact questions are lengthy usko padhne ke liye time lagne wala hai usko samajhne ke liye time lagne wala hai for the fact tita question hai to calculation karna padega what happens sometimes let's say you have a question right you can work out your question let's say 50% and they can kind of you know take a guess looking at your options you say that you know what i got the range of the option so i think the option is going to be between 96 to 99 i have one option which is 98 this can be my probable answer that's what we can work out in actual exam paper but how about this if i just take out these things then what you will have to do you will have to work out the entire answer till the end and get the 98 as an answer on your paper or whatever the sheet that you have that you are working out so guys this is what we all need to understand the moment you have tita question right so segment 1 the moment you have tita question and tita question with a lengthy ones the level of difficulty is going to go up now again there are two things that we need to understand is it a real a uh, level of difficulty or it is something kind of derived now sorry if i'm using a lot of jargons in here but please thoda samajhne ki koshish karo level of difficulty ka matlab kya hota hai see yaar maybe tumhara jo question hai it is not really tough wo question easy hai it just that wo question ek line ka tha cat wale ne usko teen line ka bana diya questions is easy question easy tha uske options the options mita diye so now the question has become tita right now the first thing that you have to do as an aspirant is that you have to read this you have to read this so when you read this the time consumption is going to be more that's the first hurdle so time consumption zyada hoga time consume ho gaya ek ghanta hi hamare paas hai right time consume ho gaya then you have to work it out by unitary method and because of which though the questions are not little tough or though the questions are not really high funda the time consumption go up because of which your attempts go down and this is the another segment this is the another segment of your level of difficulty and the actual level of difficulty can be aapke questions genuinely but the actually tough hai but at honestly out of 34 questions in cat 2018 char se panch question jo the wo genuinely tough the but you don't even have to do this four to five question because out of 34 your 99.99 percentile 99.99 percentile was on round about 20 to 21 questions 
सिंपल सी बात है सो यू कैन लीव फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन बट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड योर लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी एंड दैट इज द रीजन लेट्स सी इफ यू फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेट्स सी इफ यू फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन वट हैपन लेट से फॉर नाइनटी परसेंट आइल राइट फॉर नाइनटी परसेंट आइल यू हैड टू डू सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन बिकॉज द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी वॉज लोअर सो अटैम्प्ट शुड गो अप नाउ यू वेंट आउट for 2018 cat paper with the same set of mind the saying that i have to knock up 16 question you targeted 16 question but for the fact the questions are lengthy for the fact questions are lengthy for the fact questions have uh, no options i mean i would say that you know they are tita right the problem was it was more time consuming and because of which you were not able to crack 16 question so ideally this 95 percentile that we are talking about should be round about on 13 questions but what happens when a student goes with a set of mind or you know having a pre assumption that i am going to knock off 16 question till 13 he is good and then he adds three more questions in his portfolio he does three more question which might goes on a negative scale and because of which his score goes down this is what happens when you do not understand the level of difficulty so always remember your attempts that we talk about your attempts is always going to be a function of level of difficulty guys that is the most important thing that you need to understand if you really want to get a call from 20 iams i have seen people missing out on calls i'm not saying that they were not able to get 90 percentile but yes they could do 90 90 in two section but in one section they were 70 somewhere they were 60 because they could not understand the level of difficulty of that particular segment in 2018 predominantly it was quants and because of which a lot of students actually missed on the section cut off and they did not get call from the lot of iams so remember this for formula that your attempts are nothing but the function of level of difficulty means your attempts will always be and always be dependent on the level of difficulty of that particular segment guys so i am going to be making lot of videos on this front uh, we will be talking about we will be talking about how do you gauge or how do you understand the level of difficulty of verbal lrdi quants we are done with this i will be making more videos about quants i have just given you a live example 17 or 18 ka comparison humne kiya hai i will be making a lot of videos on this front stay tuned but trust me as i said this is the third video in the series of getting one i am call sure shot guys trust me if any aspirant just takes care of these things not even studying really on a high level not finishing all the 2022 chapters of quant if you just take care of this in your preparation if you apply this in your mocks and if you apply this on your d day i can guarantee you that you will be able to get at least one or more than one iim calls because this is the main crux of cat which a lot of students do not understand because of which they do not get those iim calls and trust me cat is more of a strategy exam it is not like in math and it is not like you know cat or it is not like cmat um you know i i feel so sad when people you know apply engineering and bcom fundamentals and you know in math ke strategies on cat it doesn't work like that cat is a little bit different exam it's easy still doable crackable it's just that couple of strategy we as a student do need to understand and if we understand them we are there in the game so guys on this note that's it from my side wait for a couple of more videos i will be putting them across so do subscribe to the channel so that you can get the notification all the time press that bell icon in there so that you do not miss on the notification because a lot of times students tell me sir video aaya par we haven't seen this has happened for the sp jain ka video and couple of more wherein the um, video was out but lot of students couldn't get the uh, notification because uh, maybe they didn't you know uh, kind of subscribe to the notification and all that so guys do that do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned to the notification uh, that's it from my side thank you so much